This one is really beautiful. I've never seen anything like this at Home Goods. Oh my god, this was famous last year. There definitely are some hidden gems in here, but if you can find them at Home Goods, it definitely helps your wallet. What the heck? I'm gonna go ahead and debunk that Home Goods rumor right here, right now. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. I love shopping at all my favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's World Market, Joann's, Michael's, pretty much any store you can imagine to show you what is new. Sales and clearance deals I think you may love and tons of seasonal decor. I also just moved into a brand new house and I am transforming it space by space, room by room and taking you on the journey. I will leave some of my recent transformation videos down below and we have so many more in the works. So with all of those transformations coming and happening and in the pipeline, today we are going to be shopping at HomeGoods. HomeGoods is kind of like a one-stop shop. You can find a little bit of everything and that is what I need right now, a little bit of everything. And I haven't been to HomeGoods in a couple weeks. It feels like forever and I was away last week so I'm just super excited to get in there and see what they have. So if you're excited to see what they have at HomeGoods or potentially you can find at a HomeGoods near you this week, then be sure to stay right where you are before we get started please be sure to give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below to join my little corner of the internet and the notification bell so you don't miss all of my future transformations there's seriously so many transformations coming you're not gonna want to miss it so make sure you give the video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel I've never done this but I've always wanted to so I want to set a little challenge for you guys let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 thumbs up that would be amazing I've never set a little goal but I've always wanted to try to do it in one of these videos so let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 thumbs up but if you're excited just stay right where you are because we're gonna head inside right now and if I buy anything there will be a haul at the end so stay tuned alrighty just got into home goods and I want to first take a look at furniture I always like to start with furniture do like a lap of the whole store see what we find and then kind of dive into other sections I want to take a look at some home accents maybe some office decor and just kind of see what they have today we have so many projects going on inside the house so I feel like I'm looking for so many different things so it's hard for me to kind of compartmentalize it right now but I kind of just want to do a good old-fashioned home goods shop with me and show you a little bit of everything so I was away for a week and things are are super moved around like this is the mirror section or at least it used to be and now there's like all this like ottoman bench type seating right here so really confused I just walked in and I'm excited to see what renovations they're doing but like where did the mirrors go regardless of that I do see some really cool benches right here this one specifically I feel like on the other side of here it might be a drawer but I love the thickness of this seat and then it looks like that it also comes with this bolster pillow because these are like a perfect perfect match this is 349 bench with drawer yeah so on the other side of here i'm sure that the drawer pulls out this is a really beautiful piece of furniture especially for an entryway so i love that for 349 i love these little tables there's two of them stacked here i actually am looking for something just like this smaller black one for a makeover that i am working on or you know in the planning stages of i feel like i'm gonna need something like this so i might pick up the little black one the smaller size one it is $40 it has like wood on the top and then these metal legs it's the perfect look that I need I love this coffee table right here I love the solid rattan top it does have a tiny bit of damage on the side but you could always ask for a discount and honestly that could just be glued back down with Gorilla Glue you can see there's like some um, wooden pieces underneath all of that I love the style of the weaving on the bottom and I love the shape oval coffee tables are so unique I feel like you don't see them that much you either see like rectangles or circles and ovals like this are really good especially if you have like small kids around you in your home um, just to get rid of any edges that you can just for safety reasons so I love seeing coffee tables that are super unique I can't wait for you guys to see my new coffee table I'm so excited this is $2.69 so a really good price especially for a coffee table of this style and this size here's another one that's a different style but same idea these are all from that same um, Pacific Paradise line that's made in Indonesia this one's 150 a lot smaller smaller of a coffee table but good if you have a smaller space but you still want that bohemian look here's another one in a different style but like same materials this one's so unique you can actually like put stuff underneath but 
Look, the lid comes off of the top. So you could put like blankets in there or something. Love the color of it too and these little handles. This one's great for 150. They seriously have so many benches. Here's a few more tables. This one's really, really nice. Look at that one. But I wanted to show you another bench that I found that I really like. It's extendable which is neat. I don't know though, it doesn't look like it comes with like a cushion that goes in the middle. So I'm not exactly sure how this works. Is it like a drawer on the inside? Oh, it is, it's like a drawer on the inside. So you could hide like mittens and scarves and hats in there if you live in like a cold climate and you can find this in your area, so that one's nice. Then there's also this one, which is upside down, but it has two openings here for baskets and Home Goods has so many baskets, so you could just shop in here and test out a lot of the different baskets to find some that would fit in there. I like the gray top, mid-century modern with like the roundness, but I like the caning as well. This one's 250, does have legs right there. This one's a great one for storage. Both of these are so, so great. Oh my God, this is still here and taunting me. This has been here for weeks. Weeks and weeks. We saw this a couple weeks ago. It's like one of my favorite home goods finds I've ever found here. It does have a little bit of damage. Doesn't even look like they've put it on sale yet. It's still a thousand dollars, but the colors of it are so perfect. I love the black rod iron detailing on here. I can't believe this is still available. Oh wow, they moved curtain rods over here. So then they moved the mirrors where the curtain rods were. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. Really love this media console. It does have this gray wash with this like warm undertone kind of grainage underneath. Has some really sleek chrome hardware but I like the design of the doors like the long ovals super nice still has like the two open shelves you could do some books in there or if you have like a cable box that needs to be like out but I feel like with this having like the holes in it you could put like cable boxes and stuff in there a little bit more hidden it's a really great size it is 66 by 16 by 34 and this is $400 here's another one they have a ton of good like credenzas today lots of great furniture on this trip i like this one this one's gray as well is gray making a comeback i think it is this has this nice like rubbed oil bronze or oil rubbed bronze circular hardware and i like the caning house a little bit more tight you could definitely hide like lots of stuff in here these credenzas don't have to be used as like a buffet in a dining room you could use these as like a media console you could use it in a bedroom underneath a tv and you could put clothing in here you don't have to follow the rules of what the piece of furniture is meant for because your space may have a more unique need and a piece of furniture like this could solve a lot of different like storage solution issues as well as look decorative and functional. They have so many good furniture pieces. I freaking love this one. I love when hardware is like this half circle look i don't know why i just really like that or like a full circle they had cool nightstands like that here last year so i really love this i love the sleek black legs and there's so much texture and graining and visual interest with the wood oh my gosh this is so cool behind this this is a piece i've shown before it has these like four marble plates on the top um, and these nice arches. I have shown this in another video. This is expensive. This is almost $700. And this one is $4.99. Jeez, I've never seen them have this many of one chair. If you're looking for an entire dining set, they have all eight chairs. They're like this French Parisian style with the blue striping. Be really, really pretty for like a vintage coastal house. Be really, really beautiful. These are also super nice. Set of six striped fully covered chairs i feel like these are coming back into style like this fully covered look where you cover the legs i like it in certain situations i don't necessarily love these ones like i don't love that pleating down here but i do like the linen color with like the very discreet white striping so these are pretty nice, and it's nice that they have these big sets. These are $150 a piece, which is not bad. Dining chairs add up so quickly. You're like, oh, that's not bad, and then you realize you have to buy like six to eight of them, and you're like, oh, crap. But if you can find them at Home Goods, it definitely helps your wallet. These tall back ones are awesome. I feel like these would be so fun for the head of a table. I really, really like these. I like the piping and the material on the seats. It's kind of like a cool toned beige or like a really warm gray um, these are legacy classic they do have performance fabric which is nice because they have the fabric on the back as well and these are $200 a piece look at this one it's like a wood inlay piece this is made in Vietnam it is $600 
The intricacies of this are stunning. Look at the doors. Just opens up. Oop, that shelf is a little bit wonky right now, but you could easily fix that. It closes, has a nice like snap enclosure. So all of these shelves are in here. You just have to go ahead and install them. This is beautiful. It's definitely not my style. For me, it's like a little bit too busy, but this is absolutely stunning, especially if you had this in like a dining room, um, maybe with like a table that's like this darker wood color to make that pop a little bit more. But like I was just saying about the other piece, you can use these in any way that fits in your home. This one is really beautiful. I've never seen anything like this at Home Goods. They've even changed around this whole like food section, but what I like is that they kind of have all of the Starbucks stuff right here, and they have these cold brew coffee concentrates traits that I love they have these at Walmart and at Walmart they are like over eight dollars a piece and they have them here for $4.99 so that's like probably like a 33% savings they have the black they also have the Madagascar vanilla and the caramel these are great when like I want a Starbucks iced coffee but first of all I don't want to pay for it and second of all I just want to take it with me on the go so these you just like can add water and then a little bit of creamer and you're 100% good to go so I think I am going to pick up a couple of these because that's a really good savings from the grocery store and overall just a way better savings from Starbucks in general because you get like four coffees out of these so that's only like a dollar a piece look at this adorable little end cap they have set up for pride they have a couple of pillows some that says like love each other they've also stuck a bit of the ray dunn so like over the rainbow mug they have some class of 2022 napkins so kind of like graduation and pride mixed look at this beaded pillow all like rainbow beaded for only $14.99 they just have a bunch of pillows and garlands. This one's like a garland with like a rainbow. A gnome wine glass. There's always a gnome. A shaker. An inflatable pool floaty. So a bunch of different things set up right here for Pride. Oh my god. This was famous last year. I wonder if this will become famous again. This is the strawberry end table. I remember people were literally going miles and miles and miles away from their homes to different home goods trying to find this. This is by House and Garden. This is just like it's a strawberry like accent table just in case you wanted to see what it looks like from the top it is $69.99 it's super adorable um, a lot of people really really love this last year and I'll be interested to see if it is another coveted item this summer like I said it's not my style but I totally can sympathize and empathize with the rush of like finding an item that you've been looking for for a long time it's just like this rush of adrenaline and serotonin so not just this item but if there's any item that you've been looking for at a store or at home goods or at Target just know that I'm so excited and cheering for you when you find these items and yeah I hope that potentially if you wanted the strawberry table last year and you couldn't find it you'll see this and be excited to know that you can find it again this year and i wish you the best of luck these down alternative pillows are super nice they're hypoallergenic it says squeeze me i i can't even describe to you how freaking soft they are they are great for pillow chopping if you ah if you are into the pillow chop somebody successfully did it right there they have a bunch of different colors they have like a beautiful like mango sun yellow color a really nice taupe sage green and this one's more of a cream it's kind of hard to tell on camera but these two are different and they have this beautiful like leather camel color these are $34.99 a piece and they do have a removable cover these might be some of the nicest pillows I've ever found here they remind me a lot of the chenille ones I just got from Kirkland's I'm a big fan of these thinking I might want to pick up a couple of these for one of the makeovers that I'm doing but I don't want to get too many things too soon you know what I mean but I really do like these these are a great new pillow option at home goods i know that i say i'm not trying to buy too many things too early but speaking of that we're gonna head into the home accent section check out some stuff over here there's a few items that i'm looking for so it's hard because like with some items especially at home goods like if you buy it you have to see it buy now decide later buy it so that you have it and if you don't want it you can always return it but at home goods if you don't buy something when you see it there's a solid chance the home good gods will curse you and you will never find it again because that's just how home goods works so i am looking for some really specific items over 
over here in the home accents section so let's see what we can find these are really cool they have these like nostalgia edition board games these would tie in really well with the makeover i'm doing but this is just like a little bit too colorful i'm not gonna say why i'm looking for stuff like this but if you can guess it or you think you know why leave a comment down below i'll be really interested to see if anyone can guess it they also have nostalgia edition twister that's super fun um these are 16.99 i just love like the tins that they come in and the artwork on them is so awesome they also have this beautiful huge like adult collectible monopoly so it's like a really beautiful board it has like um velvet in the middle i almost said leather but it's like the luxury edition this would be such a great gift for anybody who's like obsessed with monopoly or if you have like a game room or something i feel like that'd be really awesome i don't see a price on here and there's too much like breakable stuff in the way but if i had to guess it's probably between 60 and 80 dollars this one's a little bit different this one's a luxe edition solid maple wood cabinet so it has like a drawer underneath and this one's a hundred they also have really nice scrabble boards like these are so cool for anyone who's like a super fan of these games it's more like a permanent fixture and this one's 120 oh my gosh nostalgia edition mystery date <laughs> This is so cute. This makes me think of the Santa Claus, um, the mystery date game. I feel like that's like one of the gifts that Tim Allen gives in the Santa Claus. And I love the pink tin. I know I've said this before, but if you did not see those home goods videos, I just want to remind you that they have so many gallery wall frame sets here that are really, really nice. They have all different colors shapes and sizes and you can typically get like three to five frames for anywhere from like 25 to 40 dollars which is a pretty good deal i love that they always have a bunch of each set too so if you're trying to do a gallery wall of like nine you can easily get the frames here like these gold ones are super super nice this is 30 dollars, and it's like a slab of crystal i don't know which crystal it is oh i was wrong okay no, this is a slice of petrified wood. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It's heavy, so that's why I thought... Oh my gosh, is that even possible? Look at this tag, petrified wood. Hang on, I need to read this. Okay, this is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever found at Home Goods. So this is something that's from Indonesia, and according to the tag, it's like millions of years old. So apparently, millions of years ago, in the territory period blankets of rainforest were covered in ash and lava from a volcanic eruption um and so the trees were like buried which caused all the microbes in the wood to break down um it said that it would stop it from like rotting the wood and then the wood was replaced with silica rich minerals such as quartz calcite opal and the beautiful colors come from those like chemical reactions it says that this is from that period i don't know if i can choose to believe it very interesting that it is wood but it feels like stone and that's exactly why this is $30 this would make such a cool layering piece I feel like half of you in the comments are gonna be like you are freaking gullible but you know what I think it's really cool I feel like I'm gonna have to google search and research more on this but if that's what this really is and if this is like a true piece of that this is such a cool and rare home goods find I mean based off a quick google search it looks like that's truly what this is now whether or not this is from indonesia millions of years ago i'm not sure but this is really really awesome coming off of the coolest thing i've ever found at home goods is the creepiest what the heck are these these are what nightmares are made out of <laughs> walking past the kids section on my way to the office section and i just found this it's almost like a little gardening tool holder but it's totally woven this would be so adorable for like kids arts and crafts you could put all their like play-doh in here or something um you could also use it for like several adult things but because i'm in the kids section that is what it made me think of you could also do like gardening tools in here you could put maybe I don't know. I almost said cleaning products, but I don't think so because I feel like this is too absorbent. Lots of different uses for this. If you can think of anything else, leave some suggestions down below. I love the shape of it, though. It's super unique. The office section looks pretty packed. Um, they have a lot of these, like, organizers and stuff. A lot of this stuff is looking, like, super 
kiddish and teen-ish to me, not like adult office. Like these letters, the I mean they do have some like matching stuff, but like tons of neon signs. They do have some good lighting hidden in here. This is actually really nice. I like the champagne color with this shade and it's like one that has the USBs in the back so you can stay charged, which is a really, really nice feature. This is 30. There definitely are some hidden gems in here like this acrylic and gold lazy susan that has like four different sections this is 16.99 i feel like this would be great for um i don't know if anyone else is like me okay this might be pretty niche but i like to stock up on like fast food condiments so that i can eat them when i'm at home so i feel like in my pantry i could like separate them maybe by like sauce or restaurant oh my god i'm exposing myself Ooh, if you're looking for a 2022 to 2023 planner those are out now so this is august 2022 to december 2023 and they have a couple different styles here for that so if you are a planner girly or boy <laughs> or person um they have planners out that will get you through the end of next year they also have so many clocks like in every single style i think this one yeah this one's broken but that would be really cool if it wasn't it is like a crystal one it's handcrafted in india yeah if this was like full that is really really unique and that is twenty dollars unfortunately it's broken but maybe you can find one that isn't at home goods near you okay so as promised we do have a little car haul it's honestly nothing that exciting but I feel like people just like to see like what I pick up when I'm at the store so I'm trying to be better about showing you when and if I do buy things so one thing that is really exciting actually is that I'm getting a new phone the back of my phone is completely shattered there's like glass rolling around in the case and you can see like the chips and stuff like it is so so bad I'm just like very clumsy I dropped my phone a lot so anyways all that to say I'm getting a new phone and I'll show it to you like later this week um, but I'm getting like the blue iPhone and I'm really excited about it but anyways I needed to get a case and stuff because I just like have to have a case like the second I get the phone or else I won't feel comfortable using it because like I said I dropped my phone a lot but I picked up this Kate Spade phone case I love the pretty blue flowers. I feel like that's gonna match the blue of the phone super well. I was looking at a Casemate phone, um, phone case. Why can't I talk today? I've been looking at a Casemate phone case on Amazon that was like $40. Honestly looked like pretty similar, but I wanted to check at HomeGoods first because I know they have Casemate cases and they did have them, but I just like this one better and it looked a lot like the one I wanted, but this was only $14.99, so that was a good deal. And then I did also pick up a two pack of like glass screen protectors. I don't have one on this phone and I never broke the screen, but I wanted to just get these. These were only seven bucks for the two. So I did pick up these for my new phone. So I'm super excited about that. And then as I mentioned in the store, I did pick up a couple of those cold brew coffee concentrates. These are just such a good deal. You get like four-ish coffees from each one because it's concentrate, so you mix it with water. I think it's like one-to-one. -one. So you get like a bunch of different coffees out of here. So you end up saving a ton of money because I am just, I'm just a Starbucks girly, okay? Especially now that we're getting into like the summer I always want a nice coffee and I wanted to pick these up these are like almost nine dollars at Walmart so to find them for $4.99 at HomeGoods is a super good deal I picked up the traditional the vanilla and the caramel we haven't tried these ones yet we typically um, just have the regular one but at Walmart I saw like a chocolate coconut one and I was really intrigued by that but I just can't pay nine dollars that's just too much so I got to three of these and I'm super excited about them even Brian thinks they were a good purchase so I always feel really good about my purchases when Brian thinks that they're a good idea because that means they're not you know so frivolous but yeah so I picked up three of those $4.99 a piece so really good deal there definitely check out your home goods if you like to make coffee at home but you still like Starbucks coffee these are a really good deal I always buy coffee beans at home goods as well the Starbucks coffee beans are the best deal there out of anywhere sometimes you can find a really good deal at Sam's Club that's pretty comparable but they always have different types of beans and all that here at home goods you can check the expiration dates I feel like that used to be a thing that they would get like expired food but I've checked everything and never found anything expired so I'm gonna go ahead and debunk that home goods rumor right here right now check it out they have really cool stuff they have like olive oils they have different like pestos and sauces and they have really cool food at home goods honestly I like it so that's just me but that is gonna be it for me today if you haven't yet please be sure to help me reach my 2,000 thumbs up like subscriber goal what oh. 
But anyways, that is gonna be it for me. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Help me get to 2,000 likes on this video. A little challenge for you guys. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss all of my future videos and all of the room transformations that I'm working on. But that is gonna be it for me. I love you all so much. Thank you for shopping with me today at Home Goods, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.